deep in the mountains lies a mysterious wolf with this strange creature on top who's yawning yawning I'm not that boring am I seriously anyway hey there everybody welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD this is spiraling helix in the last episode we made our way through the end of the snow peak ruins collecting the Shard of the Twilight Mirror, the Mirror of Twilight. Anyway, in this episode though, let's finish things off that we have left to clear up around the Snow Peak province. First of all, in this tunnel that we took to get to the top of the Snow Peak province, there is a Poe waiting for us, so let's take care of him. There we go. Gonna just knock through everything very quickly in this one. With that po taken care of, I can now li light up these torches. Which will reveal a chest. Now, this is either gonna be a hundred rupees or a stamp. So let's see what it is, shall we? It is a hundred rupees! I wasn't sure if this was a stamp or not. But that is okay. Further down the mountain, what just happened there? Anyway, we have more things to do further down the mountain. In fact, I think it's only one thing to do further down the mountain. So first of all, let's just jump down here. And then down here. As over in this direction, this is where the path splits for the first time in case you're wondering. By this tree where there was a po. This digging cavern. There is something interesting in here. As now that we have the ball and chain, we can break through this ice. Once I take care of these two keys or so. And as you can see, once we take care of that ice, there's three of those guys! And, again, case. I wonder if these bomb shoots are actually effective against any of these. Nope. Not at all. It just sort of froze it. Interesting to know. Come on. Ah, I almost got it off. Invincibility! Take two. Invincibility frames! Let's get them! Okay, that's one hit. One more. And I think you can break out of the ice quicker. Just run, just run, just run, just run. They'll chase me. No, they won't. There we go. And that's two of them. You can't hit me. What? How could he hit me from that far away? Come on. Anyway, though, I don't think they'll actually breathe ice at you unless you're closer than their breath can reach. So, like, the, his breath could probably reach me back further than when he first saw- No, it's about where he first sees me. Thankfully, they do take a bit of time to start up their ice breath. It'd be nice if I locked onto the big enemy that's freezing me before the darn keys. I'm getting really low on health here, so let's just take care of you quickly. And that guy's on the chest. So as you can see, this this room, by the way, the mortal draw does one-shot these guys. But if you're too close, it will freeze you in the process. Which I don't really want to do. I'll do it on this guy. There we go. But as you can see, killing them all does not give you the chest. What? That's... I could have sworn that one was a hard piece, guys. My bad, but I, sh I showed it off anyway. Anyway, before I do anything, I'm going to heal. And I'm going to see you guys back at the mountaintop where we did some snowboarding on a leaf. <laughs> and as we are up here... I want to be a human before I head up, as we have Yetta and Yeto. 
Long time since we meet. Uh, wife feeling better. Uh, nice weather for sleds. You try, huh? Yes, let's do it. Uh, race to home. That's right. We're racing the Yetis. Let's go, go, go. Oh, unfair. He has a head start with all his weight. But that's okay. Yeso is pretty easy to beat. He'll take the standard path. And by jumping, I'm getting a nice head start on him as well. As this is quicker. And cut a corner here. And run into the wall. He's totally going to pass me. But if you look at the minimap down in the bottom left, that red dot is Yeso. You can see how he is going. And I'm going to... This is another chance for me to try and make this jump across the treetops. Here we go. Oh, so close. I think you'll actually aut automatically jump. You can hit those trees, which is very bad, but thankfully I didn't. Anyway, I'm going to take the standard path. The easy one. There's some keys. As long as you avoid running into things like those icicles as you're racing down, then you should be perfectly fine. But it's just cruising at this point. Here's a few deadly jumps. Let's try and avoid these deadly jumps. And here we go. One and two. No, I can no, no, no. No. If you fall, that will end the run. You will lose. But thankfully, we can talk to Yeso once again and race him. By the way, with Yeso, she's just like, oh, you should race husband. Uh -huh. She's, so, she just says stuff like that, I think. Something that, and you, you get the point. But we're going snowboarding. Link is now featuring in his own SSX game. That's a snowboarding game for you guys, if you didn't know. I think it came out on PlayStation and Xbox. So not Nintendo, but I used to play SSX once. Like, what? Did you see that? He sent me flying. I thought I could like ride him like a ramp, but apparently not. Anyway, he's getting ahead of me, guys. I need to catch up. Okay, attempt number three. Completely missed. Avoid the trees, avoid the trees. The leaves are sort of semi-solid. They might push you a little bit, but they won't stop you, thankfully. And with that, by cutting that corner easily, we have got ahead of... No! No, we haven't! Quick! Go, go, go! You just destroyed all those keys, though. Come on. I can still do this. I can still do this. Um, I'm not cheating. Oh, he just did an awesome spin. <laughs> That's not cheating, though, is it? Is it? Um, no! This is what I get for cheating. Punishment! <gasps> oh, I got my hopes up. One, two, oh yes! I made it, I made it. I can do it, I made it, I made it. As long as I don't crash at the end, which is stupidly easy to do. So don't crash it. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Come on, Link. Come on, Link. Boom! You win! Now, don't try and beat that time, as I'm about to make another run. Uh, 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 you beat Yato! You good, uh, you worthy sledder. You want rematch? You go back to mountaintop, uh. Thankfully, those guys don't care if I move over here. They won't turn to see what I'm doing. They won't notice. I'm just teleporting. But our teleports must take some time. Or... The Yeti family can also teleport because they are already up here waiting for us. And also, if you want to initiate a race, you can just slide into that, I think. Oh, maybe not. Maybe Yeto wants you to. Oh, there we go. Uh, you slid down that snow. You race back to my house then. Uh? Wait. I don't want to race you. No. No. No, thank you. No, thank you. Goodbye. Fastest death. See if you can beat that. That was six minutes and... Sorry, six... 
seconds and something. See if you can beat that death time, guys. Anyway, if we talk to Yessa now... You beat husband. Uh, you good. You race me? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, good. Race the house. Uh. Well, Yeso was much heavier, so I imagine he would have been quicker than you. I'm sure I've got this easy. And he's not using a leaf. In fact, Yeso is much harder than Yeso. She will take that short, the shortcuts. She will like to jump around and laugh in our silly little face. And she is, of course, much tougher if you guys couldn't guess by me saying it probably three times now. But anyway, I'm gonna jump a bit and I'm totally gonna miss the trees here. Because I didn't have... wait. Two? Three! I got it! I got it! Oh my goodness! I don't care if I lose this race! I got the 50 rupees! I might have missed that 20, but that's a 20 down here. Even though my wallet is full. And jump! Okay, go, go, go. By the way, I'm not actually... I don't care! I made it across those trees. I've done that in my whole life and all the years... I... Okay. In all my years of playing this game, I've never done that, but... I have half a heart. I am not wasting my red chew jelly on this. Thirteen seconds, point two seven. See if you guys can beat that. But Link, you too good. Uh, I overconfident, maybe. You slimmer than husband, her. Uh. Hmm. Maybe that's your secret. You aerodynamic. Uh, you take this as token of respect for sled skills. Uh, for that, we get a piece of heart. And with that, we have been saved. We were half a heart, and no tell husband. We have got all of our health back so now I believe that is every collectible in the Snow Peak province so now let us head over to Hyrule Castle before we end off the episode let's head over to Tilma's bar to see where we are going next and I might actually stop by Melo Mart to burn a few rupees as I have too many rupees I, I kind of want rupees to help me Ooh, it's also night time I could go nope Nope, I'm not going po hunting. I've done enough of that. Speaking of postman, here's the postman. Greetings, Mr. Link. Da, 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 da. Two letters, in fact. Let's see what they have to say. Now, I believe one of these letters is very interesting, and the other is probably actually from. Yes, sir, or yes, -o. so let's see. First of all, scrolling down a bit, Agatha's dream from Princess Agatha. Agatha had a dream last night. Butterflies surrounded Agatha and lifted her up to the sky as she waved to the people below in Castletown. She could see so many people, some waving back, others staring wide-eyed. Agatha flew in a big circle above Hyrule Field and the butterflies formed into a bed beneath her and said, Let's play again. Soon they faded away and she woke up in her bed. Oh, Agatha wants so badly to fly in the sky. I have no idea why this letter exists, but... Okay. Anyway, we also have from wife of Yeto. Yeto, I feel bad. You pay me visit and I not much help. I feel better now. Husband and I sled lots now. Very much fun. Link, you join us at Snow Peak sometime. And with that, we have many more letters. Two more, in fact. But I have over 20 poses now as of the very first po we got in the Snow Peak province. So I want to go pay a visit to Giovanni more than anything. But actually, yes, I'll do that right away. Even before Melo Mart, because then I'll probably get lost in the 
Amazing dance. If Melomart's actually open. Is Melomart open at night? Hopefully it is. Anyway, let's quickly go say hi to Giovanni. So many cats! Mew, mew, mew. But digging into Giovanni's house. Now that we have 20 po souls, more than 20 in fact, let's talk to him. You intruders! I can move again! This is all thanks to you, right? Oh, I have to thank you. Will this do? You got the great fairy's tears! This bottle holds sacred water that contains the great fairy's prayers. It's the exact same as the rare true jelly, but it looks cooler because it's purple. Ahahaha! <laughs> I see you can get this stuff in the cave on the eastern edge of the Gerudo Desert too. At the bottom of the Cave of Ordeals he is mentioning. But my body is still golden. Does this mean my soul is still not whole? That's strange. Maybe we need the souls of 60 ghosts. That sounds about right, Giovanni. Can I ask you another favour of you, doggy? Can you defeat more ghosts? Just 33 more. It must be tough finding those creepy crawlies, right? Take this lantern with you. This is an exclusive item for the Wii U version, the HD version. You got a ghost lantern. This mysterious lantern will light up when there are ghosts nearby. You can set it and it doesn't need any oil. Thank you. And not only that, the cat that was on top of his head is now no longer gold. Say, you're the one who fixed my master up, right? I owe you. My name's Jangle. I'm the leader of the cats outside. Well, well, now that I can move, maybe I should go outside and breathe some fresh air. Jangle will be very important at another point in the game, once we have all 60 pose. But for the time being, not that important. Anyway, though... Uh, hello there, kitties. Um, Run away from the cats! Run away! Anyway, let's head into every single building's corner. No, let's head into Telma's bar to see what we should be doing next. How's that Ilya doing, honey? I'm sure that... Uh, you're just saying some stuff. Hey, honey, if you're up in the air about where to go next, maybe you ought to talk to Russell. He's in Hyrule's southern wood right now, checking out the lay of the land. If you need detailed directions, just take a peek at the map. So she said the same thing about Ilya's memory and Renardo, but there is now another person off on an adventure, so let's talk to these guys. Would you care to hear about the sky beings again? No, thank you. I've already heard enough. Are you quite sure? I don't mind. Really. No, that's okay. Did you see the sad state of Hyrule Castle? It's the urgent desire of this group of ours to restore peace to this kingdom as swiftly as possible. Link, please continue to lend us your strength. And what about you, Ashe? Link, huh? The Beast of Snowpeak hasn't appeared in Zoro's domain since its last visit. In the end, the troubles in Hyrule and the events on Snowpeak were beyond even my imagination. Honestly, there's got to be someone who knows what really happened. I, I would tell you, but Link is a bit of a mute. Anyway though, let's check out the map. I wonder if the sacred grove that Russell mentioned is near this mark. So, we have our next objective to head over to the sacred grove and to meet Russell. That name seems kind of familiar, but I'm, no, I can't quite remember where. I'm just kidding with you guys, I don't remember, but I'm not revealing that yet. Anyway though, let's see if Melomart is open as I want to spend my rupees. If it is open, great. If it isn't, I'll just wait until daytime. Let's see. 
That's right, Melo Mart is indeed open 24-7, which means we get to hear this music again! First of all, I'm going to buy this stamp. So there is yet another stamp, the Melo Mart stamp. Now we can stamp everything we want with Melo's cute little face. But not only that, we can purchase the magic armor. So what do you think? Are you interested? I'll take it. We have sold out of magic armor. You got the magic armor. You bought it. You are smart. You bought it at Melo Mart. Wear it and your rupees will become magical. The armor will protect you. So if you get hit, your rupees run out, not your health. If you run out of rupees, the armor will go dormant. And your movement will become impaired. So, let's stop talking to you. Thank you for your patronage. Stop anytime soon. So what happens with the magic armor? Well, if we were to wear this, we will not take any damage while we have rupees. In fact, we can move around normally while we have them. But as you can see, by my, with my rupee counter in the bottom left, it's a bit hard to see with all these colours on screen. Uh, that's a decent spot there. The rupee counter is ticking down quite quickly, might I add. So I'm just gonna let this tick down slowly. If we get hit, we lose a ton of rupees in one hit. I think it depends on how much damage it would usually do. With zero rupees, you will move around as if you are wearing the magnetic boots, but without the magnets. So yeah, although Link does look pretty darn cool. So, I'm just gonna dance with these guys. If I had a camera, I would totally show you a video of it. But I'm dancing with these guys as I'm ending off the episode. So, I'll see you guys next time everybody, when we probably grab a few collectibles around Hyrule Castle. Not Hyrule Castle, just Hyrule in general. Anyway, see you guys next time, everybody. This has been Spiral Link here. Bye-bye.